In this lecture, let's learn how we can work with checkboxes in a template driven form. And to understand that, in this form, what I have done is I have added a checkbox. Okay, and we are going to work with this checkbox in order to understand how we can work with checkboxes. So, what I want is when this checkbox is clicked, in that case, I want to set the value for this checkbox as true. But if it is not checked, in that case, I want to set its value as false. For that, let's go to VS Code. And there, this is the HTML which is displaying that checkbox. Here, we are specifying an input element of type checkbox. And there, we have also provided a name. So, with this name, a control will be created in the ng form object. Now, in order to make this input element a form control of the ng form object, here we also need to use ng model directive. Okay. And that's it. If I save the changes now, and if we go to the web page, and here let me go ahead and let me enter some value in the required fields. And here I have not checked the checkbox. Now, when I click on the submit button and if I expand this ng form object, first of all, you will notice that the form has been reset. Okay. All the controls have become empty. And because of that, if I expand this value object, you will not see any value for any of these properties. So everything is set to null. Now, to avoid this, what we are going to do is we are going to comment this line where we are resetting the form. And now let's save the changes. Let's go back to the web page. And let's submit the form again. And again, I'm not checking this checkbox. Let me click on the submit button. Let's expand this ng form now. And now we should have all the values, the values from the form controls, as you can see. And there we have this agreement checkbox. And it is set to empty string. Okay. Now, if I clear the console here, and if I go ahead and if I check the checkbox, and if I click on the submit button, in that case, that agreement should be true. So you see the agreement is true. And if I uncheck this checkbox and then if I submit the form, now the agreement should be false. So now you see agreement is false. But initially for the first time, the agreement will be empty string. Now, initially when the page loads, this form loads, that time I want to set this checkbox to false. For that, we are going to do property binding. So in the app component.ts file, let's create one more property. Okay, and here let's call this property is agreed. It is going to be of type Boolean and initially let's set it with the value false. And now we are going to property binding on this property. So here I'm going to bind this ng model with that property. Let's save the changes now. Let's go to the web page. Let's again enter the details in the required fields. And now, if I don't select this checkbox and if I click on the submit button, let's expand this ng form. Now you will notice that this agreement is false. But if I select this checkbox and click on the submit button, it should be true. So it is true. And when the form will be submitted, that time also what we want is, we want to set this is a great property and we want to read the value from the values object and we want to set it. So here we can say this dot is agreed equals this dot form dot value. And in this value object, we have the agreement property. So this is how we can work with checkboxes in template driven form. So in this section, we learned about template driven forms in great detail. We learned each and every concept of template driven form, how to use them, how to create them, how to retrieve the value from a template driven form and many more things. Now, just to recap, a template driven form is called as a template driven form because in a template driven form, we do everything in the components view template. Now we can also create a form programmatically by writing some code. And that approach is called as reactive form approach. And we are going to learn about reactive forms in great detail in our next section. This is all from this section and from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.